My name is Sheree Robinson. I am the founder and CEO of Tastemakers Africa, which is an online platform that connects travelers to local insiders in African cities. So Tastemakers is sort of like Airbnb meets Vice Magazine. So you go onto our website and you can either consume content, so you can read about different African cities, uh, get vital information, or you can explore experiences. And we do that um, by connecting young, influential creatives, artists, and entrepreneurs, turning them into tour guides. I started Tastemakers for two reasons. One, the desire to sort of reconnect at a personal level, but also to be a vehicle for reconnection for others. My family is decidedly Pan-African. My grandmother had us every Sunday like going to Harlem, getting an African outfit, like whatever that meant, and going to church doing that. And then the second one was because I saw a real market opportunity. Travel in Africa is dominated by everything safari, and people aren't really represented in that narrative. Back in 2012, I had this crazy opportunity to bring 80 young people to Equatorial Guinea, and I sold them on coming to this very sexy, dope side of Africa. After that, I knew tons of people wanted to experience Africa through a more modern, exciting narrative. I entered a pitch competition in Nigeria with this idea to build an app that let people find like very cool restaurants, cool hotels, but most importantly, connect with like interesting people in Africa. And I won. So I won $10,000 in Lagos and used that money to hire my first software engineer and work on the platform. I actually want to share a story about Black History Month. So my son is 10 years old and he's in uh, a predominantly white school in upstate New York. They just started learning about the Middle Passage. And he had kind of a breakdown and he said, there's so much more to the Africa story and there's so much more to the African American story. And so his teacher, you know, called me into the school later that afternoon. She asked me if I could teach that lesson. And I did a class on Yoruba sculpture and architecture in Benin to African American millionaires right after and during slavery. It was an epic opportunity to be black history. The whole school was talking about it to the point where even today, my son actually presented my presentation to the entire fifth grade of his school run your own race. Really, really be deeply rooted in your purpose and your mission. So looking left or looking right, that has a chance to throw you off or slow you down. But looking forward is really the best way to see progression. We'll definitely be celebrating the launch of new cities. When you book on our platform, that money is actually going directly to a local entrepreneur who's making a living on our platform. My goal is to drive a million dollars into their pockets.